This video is on real life integers. You'll want to make sure that you take really good notes. If, uh, if needed, go ahead and pause the video so that you can get your detailed notes written down. Okay, to represent data that are less than zero, we use negative numbers. A negative number is written with a, a negative sign, or you might call that a minus sign or a dash, but it's read negative. So, for the example, it's not minus 5 or dash 5 or hyphen 5, it's negative 5, negative 22. We haven't dealt with negative numbers this year. You've probably heard about them, maybe in fifth grade, but haven't really done a whole lot with the negatives. We're going to start that this year. Data that are greater than 0 are represented by positive numbers, positive 13, positive 89. And opposites are numbers that are the same distance from zero, but in opposite directions. For example, six and negative six. If you were to draw a number line and you were to put six on the number line, it would be six units from zero to the right. Because negative numbers are less than zero, they go to the left. And negative six would be six units to the left of zero. They're both the same distance from zero, they're both six units, but one is to the left, which makes it negative, and one is to the right, which makes it positive. Therefore, they are called opposites. 13. The opposite of 13 would be negative 13. Negative 5. The opposite of negative 5 would be positive 5. Okay, you definitely want to make sure that you include this in your notes. Make sure you put the graph in there as well with all the example numbers. Positive whole numbers, their opposites, and zero are called integers. So in elementary school, we've dealt with whole numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on, and zero. Now we're going to start dealing with integers, which are the negatives, or the opposite of the whole numbers. So integers are basically zero, positive, and negative numbers. We use integers to represent data in everyday life. For example, the Super Bowl is coming up. So the offense had a gain of 5 yards on the first down. A gain means it's going to be an increase or a positive number. Positive 5 would be the integer. A height increase of 3 inches would be a positive 3. The temperature is 10 degrees below 0. Below 0 means it's going to be a negative number, negative 10. The house is 12 feet above sea level. It would be a positive 12. Sea level is zero. That's where the land meets the water. That's zero. So if you're above, that's going to be positive. If you're below, it's going to be a negative. We also use integers when talking about money. Earning a $50. If you earn $50, then it's plus 50. You owe $5 to a friend. That means that's a negative 5. If you deposit $100 into the bank or into your piggy bank, then that's a positive 100. And if you go to the ATM and take a withdrawal of $20, then it's negative 20. And just kind of a side note, business people traditionally use black ink to represent profits and red ink to represent losses. You might have heard somebody say you're in the red when you're losing money or we're in the black this month, meaning we have extra money left over. That's just kind of something for you to know. The easiest way to order positive or to order integers, positive and negative numbers, is to draw a number line. Okay, and then we can put them in order. So here's our number line and here are our integers. Take negative four. We're going to start at zero. Because this is a negative number, I know that it's going to be less than zero or to the left of zero. So I'm going to move negative four, four units to the left. One, two, three, four. Here's your negative four. One is positive, so it's going to go one unit to the right. Three is also positive, so it goes three units to the right. Negative two is negative, it's going to be less than, so it goes two units to the left. Positive four goes four units to the right of zero, and negative five, the negative sign tells us that it's going to be less than zero, it's going to go to the left five units. Okay, so now we have our integers ordered from least to greatest. 
One thing to remember is that as you move to the right on your number line, the numbers increase in value, which we're used to. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The same holds true for negatives. Negative 5 is less than negative 4. Negative 4 is less than negative 2. Be very careful. If I were to ask you which is greater, negative 5 or negative 4, some of you might say negative 5 because you're used to saying 5 is larger than 4. But we're not talking about positive 5 and positive 4. We're now talking about their negatives. And negative 5 is further away from 0 than negative 4. So because that negative 4 is closer to 0, it makes it the larger number. Let's do an example. We're going to graph these integers and then order them from least to greatest. So we're going to use our number line. You need to make sure you put this example in your notes. Here's 3. It's a positive. That means it's going to go to the right 3 units. Negative 4. We start at 0. It's negative. It's less than 0, so it goes to the left 4 units. So negative 4 would go right here. Negative 6. It's negative, less than 0, so it goes to the left 6 units. Here's negative 6. Go ahead and pause the video, place the following integers or the rest of the integers on the number line, and come back and check your work. Okay, your number line should look like this. The largest integer is 4, and the smallest or the least is negative 6. Go ahead and this is homework check question number 1. You'll want to pause the video. You're going to draw the number line and put the integers on the number line, order them on the number line, and then you're going to list them from greatest to least, from the greatest number to the least number. You'll do this on your own sheet of paper that you're going to turn into class. When you're done, come back and complete the video.